Local football coach has been fired over allegations of abusing his players. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brooke Lennington. And I'm Molly Pat. All of this just happened minutes ago. The Emporia School Board just voted to fire Corey Millicent. This all comes as allegations of abuse have surfaced. Yeah, so just to recap here, all of this has just surfaced really within the last 10 minutes. We do know that Coach Corey Millicent at Emporia High School, uh, Emporia High School's football coach there, he has been fired over allegations that he was bullying his players. Now, this was all talked about at tonight's board meeting. And despite the meetings typically being open to the public, certain portions have taken place behind closed doors. We do know now that those closed door meetings were about this coach. Yeah, and so tonight, KSN2 News reporter Kelly Sperry talked with a former player who says he was subjected to this abuse. She joins us live from Emporia now. Kelly. Yeah, that's right. I spoke to many kids and parents, and the forms of abuse were all different in their own ways. And some of them were even scared to talk to me on camera because, well, they still go here and they see the coach at school. I spoke to one ex-player who told me about what he endured. Colton Beaker last played for Emporia High School in 2018 with the dream of playing college football one day. Now in college, he's standing up against the abuse he claims he experienced from Emporia High School's head football coach, Corby Millison. He knew my relationship that I had with my dad, and he doesn't live very close, and I don't get to see him very often. So instead of critiquing me or giving me some coaching, he went on to say that he didn't think it was worth my dad's time to come watch me play. Former and current players say the allegations range from Millicent hitting players with things to shoving players and using profanity. You have somebody that just steps on your love of the game and it, it really hurt. It, I didn't enjoy coming out here anymore. Beaker had an offer to play at Emporia State, but he turned it down because of his experiences in high school. That was heartbreaking, like to go from that being the life goal to just not even wanting to do it anymore was crazy. But they say they pushed through the abuse for one another. We had a really awesome senior class and a great group of guys, and there was never a second we were playing for him. We were always playing for each other. I did reach out to Millicent to get his side of the story, but he did not get back to me. Live in Emporia, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Kelly. And yeah, this all just happened moments ago, and we will let you know if we do hear from the coach when he returns our calls.